Turn to a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee where those hearings will take place. Republican Senator John Kennedy of Louisiana. Welcome back to Fox News Sunday, Senator. Nice to have you. Thanks, Brett. Nice to be here. Now, let me, let me get your reaction. We can now see, I think, pretty clearly the outlines of the case, or at least a big part of the case, is going to be made by Democrats against Judge Barrett, which is that she will be an inevitable vote uh, to strike down the Affordable Care Act as it now exists. Um, what's your reaction to that? Uh, Senator Stabenow is my colleague, and I, I consider Debbie a friend, so I, uh, um, I say this gently. Um, sell crazy somewhere else. We're all stocked up here. Um, unless, unless Debbie's clairvoyant, I don't think she knows how uh, the, the, uh, the nominee is going to vote or any other member of the United States Supreme Court. But, but Debbie makes the point, the difference between Democrats and Republicans in terms of the role of the Supreme Court. My Democratic friends uh, think that the Supreme Court ought to be a mini-Congress. They're politicians without ropes. They don't even need to hear cases. They already know how they're going to vote. And that's part of the problem. That, that's not how I view the appropriate role of the Supreme Court. Um, and I don't think that's how it operates. Uh, you're going to see a lot of evidence-free... Accusations, sure. Senator, let me just uh, ask you this about about the, the the very process and the fact of the nomination. You, of course, were were around when um, when the nomination was made of Merrick Garland, and the Senate simply refused to take it up in any way. Um, and the case was made by Mitch McConnell, the Senate Majority Leader, that the American people, this closest in an election year, which that was back when uh, President Obama nominated uh, Judge Garland, uh, should have a say in, the, in a Supreme Court nomination made that close to an election. Now it seems uh, that the roles are reversed. Uh, a president has made a nomination. It is an election year. Indeed, it is very close to the election. And the, you and the other Republicans are prepared to move forward with this, in, which is distinct, obviously, from the course you took just four years or so ago. Um, you're being accused of hypocrisy and double standards. How do you answer? Well, let me finish my last point first to, my, to Debbie and my colleagues in the, in the, in the Senate. Uh, I hope they'll let us have a respectful process. We don't need another freak show. I mean, I, ho I hope they won't get into the foothills of Kinky and bring back Ab Michael Avenatti and all that other stuff. Let us focus on the nominee. Now, to answer your question, I'm rather fond of the Constitution. I have read it. Its provisions about filling a Supreme Court vacancy are unaffected by the electoral calendar. I realize that on both sides, Britt, there's been a lot of uh, circumlocution and attempted Churchillian rhetoric about the precedent to be followed during a, an election year to fill a vacancy. Here's as best as I can tell, here's the rule. When the Democrats are in charge of the process, they do what they think is right, consistent with the, uh, with the Constitution. When the, the Republicans are in charge of the process, they do what they think is right. And I think that's what our founders intended. I think our founders intended elections to have consequences. And when they send people to Washington of a particular party, they expect them to represent their voters. And I think that's uh, been the tradition and the president. I, it appears from a constitutional point of view that you're spot on with that. Um, the uh, Constitution certainly doesn't say anything, as you point out, about the, about the electoral process in terms of uh, the appointment and confirmation of Supreme Court justices. Mm -hmm. But would you not acknowledge that what we have here is a serious case on both sides on this issue of shoe on the other foot disease? Sure. Absolutely. And that's why I say, if you, in Washington, as you know better than I do, Britt, you have to watch what people do, not what they say. And if you watch what has happened, um, in, in the history of ever, I don't think there's ever been another instance where when the Democrats were in charge, they didn't do what they wanted. And when the Republicans were in charge, they didn't do what they wanted, consistent with the Constitution. Right now, we have a Republican president. We have a Republican Senate. Uh, if, if, if that were, were a shoe on the other foot, 
then uh, I can assure you Senator Schumer would, would do what the Republicans are doing right now. Um, as I said the other day, if you don't believe that, you know, you, you probably peaked in high school. <laughs> so you're hoping, as I'm sure others are as well, that we will have something other than what you called a freak show in this. Um, but there's some thrill history yeah. here, the Kavanaugh nomination being the only the recent, most recent example. Uh, previously, we had uh, late, uh, unexpected allegations made of sexual misconduct against now Justice Clarence Thomas. Um, is it your sense that the Senate's appetite for allowing this kind of thing to go on is diminished? Because otherwise, if something like this comes along, I'm not sure what you can do about it. What, do you, what can you do? Well, it, 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 if my Democratic friends want to... Uh, you know, want to want to turn it into a an intergalactic freak show, and you know, bring back the protesters with the genitalia-shaped headgear. I can't stop them. I just hope they want. Um, I'm going to do my job. I think she's a a, a a good nominee, but my job is to advise and consent. I'm going to probe her intellect, her temperament, her judicial philosophy, her character. I want to be sure that. Uh, she doesn't think justices are politicians in robes. I want to, I'm going to answer that in a second. I want to be assured that she's not one of these justices that tries to rewrite the Constitution every th of a Thursday to advance a political agenda that the voters won't accept. Um, I don't think her faith... I mean, if the Democrats' best argument is she believes in God, uh, therefore she's unqualified, I don't think that's illegal in America. I hope not. Uh, we have religious freedom, and it should be jealously guarded. Uh, they tried that when she came up for a court of appeal nomination. Um, it, it, uh, it didn't work out too well. They may try it again. As I say, Vort's over with. They br may bring back Michael Avenatti. But I hope so, because it cheapens the process. I hope not, rather.